Well, uh, I'd like to thank to the organizers to allow me to present the results of our investigation on modeling B antioxidant metabolism in the panasomal uh, with the aim of uh, searching for therapeutic targets. So I'm a parasitologist, so I have to talk about the parasite and why it is, it is important for us to study. So the panasomatrosis is the causal agent of human Chagas disease, which is an, a disease of uh, endemic of Latin American countries. And this, uh, but now this disease is, is spread all over the world because people emigrate to to the United States, Europe, and even Australia. So this is a, a very severe disease which causes cardiopathy and visceral mega syndrome, and which is often fatal to the infected people. So the current drugs to treat this disease are vendidazole and nitrutimox, and they are they have several inconveniences because they are. A, Mostly because they are effective only in the acute infection of the, the parasites, and they are extremely toxic. They cause the oxidative stress to the parasite and to the human cells. That's why we need an urgent need of new therapeutic regimens or new drugs or new drug targets. And in this last regard, uh, the trypanothione metabolism with this parasite and in other trypanosomatis have attracted the attention because this metabolite is a conjugate of tubular tantalium moieties and bound by a spermidine molecule. And this trypanothione replaces the function that glutathione has in the human cells. So in this scheme, I show you the, the reactions in, involved in trypanothione metabolism. The precursors of uh, the synthesis of glutathione is uh, catalyzed by gamma vitamin cysteine synthetase and glutathione synthetase, and it is synthesized from cysteine, glutamate, and glycine. On the other way, we have the spermidine molecule can be synthesized in vivo in the parasite for putrescine, or can be imported from the extracellular milieu by a high affinity polyamine transporter. So trypanothion synthetase uh, synthesized trypanothion, and this metabolite is a, a donate the reducing equivalence to the antioxidant system. Trypanothion can reduce uh, antioxidant metabolites like the hydroscorbate or oxidized, uh, oxidized glutathione. But the main antioxidant pathway is, is this one. Uh, this trypanothione reduces this small DTL protein called triparadoxin. And this, this is responsible to reduce the peroxidase found in the parasite. So for the oxidized trypanothione is reduced by trypanothione reductase uh, using NADPH. So in trypanosomatids and in several other parasites, uh, a way to, uh, uh, to identify drug targets is by knocking down or knocking out the corresponding genes. And they have, as you can see, all of, most of them have been downregulated. And it turned out that all these enzymes are essential and therefore, all the parasitologists say they are all putative drug targets. So we have in the same uh, situation. We don't know which would be the most adequate drug target. Therefore, it is considered that additional criteria to essentiality have to be applied for drug target identification. So that's why we embark in modeling a relevant uh, a met a metabolic pathways in, in these parasites for drug target prioritization, and of course we did this model in COPACI. And in order to have the control of everything, what we did is to 
clone the genes, overexpress the proteins, amplify the recombinant proteins, all of them, and perform the kinetic characterization of the close physiological conditions of pH and the temperature growth of the parasites. And also we determine the actual enzyme activity in the cells, determined also on the same experimental condition. With these values, we uh, define the, the kinetic uh, reaction mechanism for, for each cell, for each uh, reaction. And uh, the parameters, that, the variables that we use to validate the model uh, predictions where the metabolic concentrations and palmate fluxes determined in the, in the parasites. So this is the scheme of which are the actual, uh, actually uh, I would say that these are very minimalistic models, but I, I think they can give you important information. Uh, at least uh, in, uh, for the identifying drug targets. So in the reactions underlined in red, so those that were determined uh, experimentally, the kinetic parameters were determined experimentally. Whereas uh, we have two reactions, this one, the NADPH supply and the panothione man, uh, were uh, included as mass, mass action reactions. Uh, mimicking the heterosulfate pathway and the, uh, the panothion, uh, the paradox independent detoxification pathway. And we needed to include this reaction uh, under the blue to, to uh, for the model, simulate the metabolic concentration and fluxes. So, well, these are the type of kinetic mechanisms that we included for each reaction. And here are the <coughs> metabolic concentrations and fluxes determined in parasites subjected to 50 micromolar hydrogen peroxide. And these are the values that were, uh, after a process of model refinement, these are the values that were uh, uh, predicted by the model. So after this model can predict the pathway behavior in the parasites. Another since we were looking for uh, drug targets, we use the metabolic control analysis tool available in FASI. And uh, the, mod, uh, the simulation or the model predicted that the uh, main controlling next steps are gamma glutamine cysteine synthetase and the panothalin synthetase, either in the control or in the presence of oxidative stress. And we have a small contribution of the spermidine transporter, uh, whereas the panathion reductase has low control on this, on this panathion synthesis. And the model also predicted that to diminish by, let's say, 50% the pathway flux, we needed to uh, decrease the activity of gamma ECM, so 3S, yeah, around 60%. So in order to validate these model predictions, <coughs> we perform some experiments uh, using the inhibitor glucionine sulfoximine, which is an in inhibitor of gamma ECS. Uh, and as you can see, and determine the, uh, uh, the changes the, in the thalloid pools in the parasites. As you can see, in, in the, by increasing the concentration of the inhibitor, you can see a drastic diminution in, in the glutathione and in the trypanothalion pools. So later to, to see, to check the relevance of the uh, gamma ECS as the main controlling step, <coughs> what we did was supply the parasites with 0.1 millimolar cysteine, which is a physiological concentration of cysteine found, for example. In in intracellular, uh, inside the cells, or in, in, in blood. So by supplying the, the parasites with uh, in the absence of, absence of BSO, we could <coughs> increase the pool of this thion, glutathione and the almost to fold. 
whereas this increase was inhibited by the presence of BSO, uh, emphasizing the main role of that gamma ECS has on the panacalysis. Then to skip this, um, the, the controlling uh, role of gamma ECS, we supply the parasites with one millimolar glutathione, and as you can see, we, we had increases of fourfold uh, in the concentration of tripanothione. And this tripanothione, of course, was uh, uh, inhibited by BSO. So, it, it, and in remarkable, even in the presence of high concentration of glutathione in black bars, the tripanothione would even recover of this uh, inhibition. So the conclusions of this part or of this model were that tripanothione synthesis is mainly controlled by gamma ECS and tripanothione synthetase, whereas tripanothione reductase does not control the primary flux. Now, the, later we uh, focus on modeling the tripanothione independent peroxide detoxification pathway. And this is the, these are the reactions that were included uh, by kinetic parameters that we determined, as I told you before. And this is how they were coded in, in copacin. And these are the type of kinetic mechanisms that we use, we use for each reaction. So in, in order to validate the model simulations, an important parameter is to have the pathway flux. And it is very difficult to obtain uh, the, the flux of, for example, reduxide, uh, reduction of hydrogen peroxide in live cells because hydrogen peroxide uh, it is extremely reactive with the medium. So what we did is instead was to work and to determine an ex vivo flux. So using uh, uh, extracts of the cellular parasites which contain the exact proportion of uh, the pathway enzymes. So, and we supply with saturated concentrations of LEDPH, triparathion, and high concentrations of hydrogen uh, peroxide. And we determine using and varying this uh, the cytosolic protein, we determine this ex vivo pathway flux which was very well predicted by the model. So another way uh, to look for the validation of our model is by looking at the flux control coefficients. So we first perform the, the experimental determination of these flux control coefficients in, an, in a reconstituted system which was performed with the taking advantage that we already have the recombinant proteins. So we reconstituted this, reconstituted this pathway using the exact proportion of enzyme activity in the in founding the parasites. And titrating by above and below this 100% of activity, we could determine the flux control coefficients and as you can, in the, at the reference point, and as you can see, the main controlling uh, steps in this pathway are uh, triparadoxin and triparadoxin peroxidase. Uh, whereas tripanothion reductase, again, has very low control on the pathway flux. And uh, the, the flux that was determined in this uh, reconstituted pathway was pretty similar to that found in the ex vivo experiment. So now, looking at the uh, simulations uh, provided by the model, the model I think would simulate in the, within the same uh, ex, uh, interval, the pathway flux, but now we could uh, exactly determine the, the flux control coefficient of the paradox. So uh, now, having a validated kinetic model of this uh, pathway, what we did uh, was to uh, use the, uh, instead of uh, modeling and saturating concentrations of the substrates, 
we use the uh, concentrations that are in the cells. So uh, essentially the flux control distribution didn't change, having a main role part of the paradoxin. And the, the only parameter that changed was the, the, a lower uh, pathway flux. So the conclusions of this, this work are that gamma and vitamin systems in the days to panostagio synthetase and to paradoxins are the main controlling steps of this pathway. And this can be proposed as the, the most adequate drug targets from a metabolic <coughs> point of view. Instead of having uh, targets in 10 enzymes, I just reduce to a number of three enzymes. So whereas glipanotion redu re uh, reductase, which is a very popular enzyme for drug target studies or drug design inhibitors, will require high levels of inhibition to affect the antioxidant pathway by inhibiting the panotion reductase. So finally, I want to thank my the financial support of funding Mexican agents to the several undergraduate students who, which were responsible of obtaining the kinetic parameters of, to construct these models, and to my graduate students which were uh, in charge of validating the flux control coefficients in like parts. Thank you very much. as well. Papers open for discussions. Questions? Okay. I, I, nice I, I've got a question um, about uh, how you, you chose the, your, your functions to model um, a few uh, elements of the antioxidant system. So uh, in the literature some people uh, do tend to adopt uh, very specific uh, on kinetics, uh, Haldane, uh, kinetics, yeah. etc. And then uh, some people just model using mass action. So uh, um, I want to ask um, mm -hmm. uh, what was your experience? Uh, why did you? Uh, for the trypanothion synthesis, we rely on literature on the type of kinetic mechanism. And if it, it was not reported, it was chosen the closest to uh, an homologous. A, a homologue enzyme. But uh, the use of mass action kinetics is was very relevant for the triparadoxin uh, reaction when we simulated with mass action reaction the pathway flux didn't simulate the, in the experimental conditions. So we try different and it, it, triparadoxin or redoxin have been described as ping pong enzymes. So when we try this ping pong kinetics, it, it, the, the model uh, approach the, the experimental value. So we, in, first we try to avoid the mass action kinetics mechanism because it's sometimes it's, it's difficult to adjust. But uh, with this, we could we could do, did it. you we did it. should be the absence in the parts uh, in human cells. So in this regard, the plasmatarium synthesis is, is uh, we don't have the plasmatarium synthesis in human cells. I need a place to have a hard component of the And also the paradoxin is, is uh, very different to the thyroidoxin present in the cells. So the, basically the uh, glutathione cannot replace the, the, the paradoxin, the panothion enzymes cannot use glutathione, so it should be more convenient to target one of these two enzymes. So I'm sure the Kapazi developers would say that uh, you can, of course, now vary quite easily the Vmax say of each of the three candidate enzymes to see where you yeah. get a, a good effect of synergy. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
and he will take us forever. Okay, and there'll be plenty of time outside to chat as well. Thanks very much indeed.